calendar because I forgot what day it is. I have a really bad method of doing that stuff, but hey, 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 it, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm checking the date. So let's see what day it is, really. It's not... No, it, it can't be. No, no, no. It, 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 it positively can't... It, it positively cannot be no, no Friday of the 13th already. Come on, come on. It cannot be. Uh, it, it can't be. Because yesterday I checked it was going to be the freaking 9th, according to what it says here. And all of a sudden it says the 13th. This has got to be some schedule error. I, I need to fix something here. Nope. I guess I'm wrong. It is accidentally Friday the 13th. <sighs> wow. Friday the 13th already. That's just great. That's just stupid. That's just wonderful. Wonderful is not the word for this situation. Freaking Friday the 13th is one of the worst days ever. It's one of the most unluckiest days of the world. Especially when it comes on a freaking September. Or October. Somewhere I heard someone said in September, Friday the 13th is one of the most unluckiest days of the month. Worse than October. And that's telling you something. Because you never know something bad might happen to me right about now. Okay, what I really need to do is just watch my back about this because literally I didn't really know today was gonna be Friday the thirteenth. Like who knew, who knew that today was gonna be Friday the thirteenth? Just, just tell me. I, I'm not even gonna ask anything. We need to figure out how to get rid of this situation. I mean I knew for a fact that yesterday it was gonna Oh oh jeez. Uh, oh I think I hurt my rib. Oh I think I hurt my other rib. Oh. Oh. oh god, I think I hurt my ribs. Oh. Oh no. No, I'm not getting bad luck, I hope. No, 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 no. And I thought if you get bad luck literally from Friday the 13th, I thought you're usually around a black cat. And I have no cats around here. I have nothing actually. Except for dogs. But, yeah, but a black cat usually gives you bad luck. Ugh, I just hurt my freaking rib. Don't worry. Do you think, oh, let me just say this. I don't believe in bad luck. There. Okay? Okay. I Maybe I just fell by accident. I fell by accident. Maybe I just stepped on my, my own freaking foot. Like some other people do. And it was by an accident. And I don't believe in this Friday the... I was about to fall again on my flat screen TV. Oh no, I don't want this to get broken. Now, what if it did get broken? <laughs> that would've been eerily crazy because I watched my VHSs and DVDs on that thing, and mostly my VCR. So yeah. Anyway, Friday the Thirteenth ain't gonna happen. Okay, okay, I'll freaking admit it. Yes, there's a, probably a thing called good luck and bad luck. Yes, I may have probably fell because of that Friday the Thirteenth thing. <clears throat> Why does it have to be Friday the 13th? Oh my god. Yep, because thinking that black cat's coming around is going to give you bad luck and everything isn't going to give you bad luck. Yes, it will give you bad luck. Let me just shut up with that crap. Now you see that? That is the stuff I will not tolerate. Because stuff like black cats walking around giving you bad luck and everything, it's just... Oh god. Now I'm scared to walk out in the street because of black cats. Ooh, I hope they're not even black cats around anywhere else. So I hope if I see one black cat, I'm running right back in here because, oh geez, I don't, I don't, I'm telling you, I don't want any bad luck coming around me again. Hello. Hey 
man, did you order a large pepperoni pizza? No, I didn't order a pizza. Well, it looks like you did because you called us. No, no one didn't order a pizza. Well, you're a whore. Excuse me? Who are you calling a whore? You know who really is a whore? Your freaking mom. Stop calling her that. First of all, I can do whatever I want. And second, happy Friday the 13th. Hey, happy Friday the 13th. Screw you. And screw you back, you stupid gay wad. Anyway, could you come downstairs and order this damn pizza and pick it up? My hands are freaking hurting me. So come downstairs, you gay person. Hurry up. First Let's go. First of all, you probably called the wrong person. <laughs> Second of all, my mom is not a whore. Your mom is a whore. She probably goes out when you're in bed and says, Goodbye, whatever your name is. I'm just going to go out every night and just drink all the time. You're, so your mom is technically a whore. Well, you're a whore too, and so is your mom. That's why she goes out all the time. I told you about calling her that. Get the damn pizza. I'm downstairs waiting for you. Cover this damn pizza. My hands are hot. I'm getting a headache. I've been standing out here for almost an hour. Him? First of all, what I'm talking about is you ordered a pizza, and another thing, your mom's a freaking whore. Now hurry down. My mom's not a freaking whore! And stop calling here! Yo, people these days gotta be so rude. Man, if I was in that freaking pizza place, I would have walked to him like this and say, Hey, are you the one that called my mom a whore? And that's savage life. Anyway, I hope that person never calls back again. And if he does, he'll, he'll see something real bad he will regret. Ugh. There are probably good people in the world that get good luck. Like there's Caitlyn and Kobe. Those are people at school I know. And, yeah, so, yeah, Friday the 13th, yeah, you, yeah, I may have fell, and I may have almost broken this expensive TV, and some random dude just called me on my iPhone, but <laughs> you do you think that bad luck is going to happen to me all day? Uh, it, it ain't. It, it ain't. It ain't. I may believe bad luck, but I don't really think it's going to happen to me, even though there's some things in bad luck that do happen to me. Also, the stupid person on the phone was calling me gay. First of all, I'm not gay, I'm straight. Second of all, do you even know the definition of the word gay? If you're just gonna keep calling people, you're gay, you're gay, you're gay, you're gay, you're gay, you're... I will never do that thing again. Also, the freaking person was calling my mom a whore. First of all, don't ever call my mom a whore. My mom is not those kind of people. She'll be one of those people that'll beat the living crap out of you. So lucky that she didn't hear you say that. Because she, if she was here right now, she would beat the crap out of this person. Or she would yell at the person on the phone. But lucky for me, I handled that person gentle. So that person, whoever is calling right now, needs to get the freak a life. A life. Also, he needs to get blocked. Blocked. Now that stupid person will call me again. You know what? That was probably a prank phone caller. Why can I not have thought of that before either? I know those three things bad happened to me, but maybe that's three things that happened to me bad. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where, where did my MLP dolls go? And where's most of my DVDs and VHSs? Where did they go? Where did they go? What the? What the hell? What happened? No, no, no. Don't tell me that that freaking crazy dude just came in here. Oh my god. That's it. You know what? This I officially made it. This is probably the freaking worst things that ever happened to me ever. Oh, why does it have to be Friday the 13th so bad? Why, why, why? Wait a minute. What? Oh, <laughs> it was not Friday the 13th, it was freaking Friday night, Friday the 9th, so apparently this was all a joke to prank on me, so somebody just came in here and took most of my stuff, who was it? You again, didn't I block you? Did you realize that this was a joke? So you were the person this whole time that pranked me into thinking that it was Friday the 13th, but it really wasn't. It was Friday the 9th. Apparently yes, but it was all a joke. <laughs> a joke? 
<laughs> a joke? Don't do it again! Now where are my real DVDs and VHSs and my MLP and all of that? You know what? I gotta admit though, that was actually a pretty good joke. But that jerk, that person's still a, a freaking jerk for doing it. I don't even know who the hell that person even was. Calling me a whore and everything. Uh, if it was April Fool's Day, I would understand. But this is just... Why? Well, I better go find my stuff. That's me. That's me. Butterfly in the sky, I can go twice as high. Yes, take a look, it's in a book of reading. Re Bro. Hey, hey, it's me, Benjamin McGrooney, and you saw me singing the Rainbow Dash. Anyway, today I have to get a physical in the doctor's office because I have an appointment because they heard that I have to get a shot. Shot? Oh, it's not just one shot, it's four shots on two of my arms. What the heck is going on today? Not to mention they have to mention me as a physical because they think there's something wrong. Something wrong with me thinking that I'm sick or anything. I'm not even sick, so what's the point of me getting a physical? I mean, physicals are just something to make you think that you're alright. They need to check my ears and stuff like that. Oh, wait, now I remember. It's going to happen at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's already 12.50, so I guess I should get going to this doctor's appointment. Okay, I guess I have to go. I'll sing with you later. It's time to go to this doctor's appointment. I'll tell you how it is, so... Let me go. I can just dab. I don't even need anything. Oh my god, that was crazy! Okay, let me tell you the first thing that these crazy people tried to do to me. First, they put- they told me to go in this room and said, Benjamin, you're up next. So I go in there. They were calling me like I was like a show was next or something, like coming up next. Random show, name one. Anyway, they call me in the freaking room and they're telling me, um, we're gonna put this thing on your arm and we're just gonna test how your blood is or something like that. So they put this strap around my arm and it freaking hurts. It was like it was like pumping out my blood or something. It felt like my arm was about to freaking break off or decapitate or something. I don't know. It, it just felt freaking hurt and it, my arm is still hurting me like crazy. Oh, that's not the worst part. So I go into the freaking, um, freaking doctor's room, because they told me to go to the next room. So the other doctor was checking my ears and my nose and my eyes and everything, saying, are you okay? Checking my eyes, saying that your eyes, something's wrong with your eyes. What is wrong with my eyes? So what if my eyes are dark and shiny? So what if they're dark and shiny? Derek's eyes are dark and shiny, because he was born with dark rings around his eyes and shiny eyelids. So was I. Be happy about what I am. And also, let's not forget this. The shots. Jesus Christ, I was going to magically dab as fast as I can when that happened. Ooh! They gave me freaking two shots on these, um, like here and here. Here. That's where it freaking hurt, mostly here. Oh, what's even worse is that they did it on this side, which is even more of the pain. You know what? I wasn't crying, but I was crying on the inside. Benjamin doesn't cry. He heals. He cries for upset stuff. Yeah, the, the doctor's place is just so creepy. Who who want to get a freaking physical there? I hate shots. I hate all that stuff. I mean, why do we need to get them anyway? I mean, I know it's they need to check on us and everything, but still, like, shots? What's the point of getting shots in your arms? Not to mention the people doing that stuff to me were freaking mean. They were giving me attitude problems and everything, saying... Oh, relax, Benjamin. Chill out. Sit still. Every time you have to rant on us. So what? That's what I do. Oh, I hate people with people with attitude problems. Anyway, that's it. Peace. Boink. Last one. Woo! Finish completing that and fixing it. Oh, hello. And peace out.